love there. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a quick casual weekend makeup hair tutorial. <laughs> That's kind of a long name, but I've been working on just a look that is minimal steps. It's almost like a no makeup makeup look. So for some of you, this might be your everyday kind of makeup style. But for me, this is a day when I might not really have any plans to go anywhere, but I just want to do something with my face and my hair. I might not feel like I need to wash it, but I'll just show you a couple of steps that I will do to easily give me a style for a second day. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. Now I've already done my skincare and I did already apply some sunscreen. I wanted to do that to allow it time to sink in. So first step for me is I'm going to use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot as a little bit of eyeshadow primer and coverage on my lids. Now this is not a product that normally I use for a full makeup look just because it doesn't last quite as long on my oily eyelids as a normal eyeshadow primer. But on a day like this, I feel like I can get away with just this product and it provides that little bit of coverage, but it keeps my oils at bay and just kind of really helps anything that I do to my eyes, which is going to be very minimal, but it helps it stay in place all day. Now, while I have that out, I'm also going to use just a touch of it along my lip line here. And some of you might know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I'll explain later. Now I'm going to do just a tiny little bit of eyeshadow. And the other day when I did it, I did a combination of Viseart eyeshadows, but as I was going through my collection today, I thought, oh my goodness, I think I can get the same effect using my LA Girl Pro Mastery eyeshadow palette. I love this thing. I think it's a great palette. So first things first, I'm just going to do a quick little bounce between those two neutral shades, put this under the brow and on my lid. And then I'm going to take my Morphe M504 and this is going to look a little strange but I'm going to mix this pink shade, this peach shade, and this kind of khaki shade. Just dipping my brush in, tapping off really well and I'm going to put this through the crease. So this is like a combination of blush and bronzer all at once. You certainly could use whatever blush and bronzer you're using that day but as some of you know, I like to be careful about using face products on my eyes. I have very sensitive eyes. So this palette I really enjoy and you can actually use these eyeshadows on your face. I have done that before. I'll link a video with that, but boom, really quick. Gave me just a little bit of definition through the crease because I have hooded eyes. This just makes such a big difference. Okay. The next step for me is just a tiny little bit of eyeliner in specific places. I have been testing all different methods and colors and this is what's working for me. So as you can tell, I really love this liner. This is Urban Decay Mushroom Liner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just past the halfway mark and I'm not going quite all the way to the corner and I'm really just pressing it into the roots of the lashes, smudging it in with my finger, and then just adding a tiny little bit more. This is not going to end up looking like a line. All it's going to look like is just a little bit of a hazy shadow. See how that like just does something? It just kind of lifts that outer corner a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that just right on the inner, kind of rim of the eye. I'm not lining all the way across the waterline, but just a little bit there and a little bit below. And I'm just using my finger to smudge it out. Now, because I'm using a powder foundation today, yes, you heard right, a powder foundation, I am going to apply my concealer first, but I am adding a little bit of some almond oil just to add a touch of moisture here. I did apply some eye cream right after I washed my face, but I feel like that soaks in so quickly. 
and I need that extra moisture. All right, so for concealer, I'm not gonna use anything super full coverage, but one that is gonna do a decent amount of, of covering. Because you can see, I think as the light hits it, you can see I've got some, some darkness right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna use just the Revlon Colorstay 5-in-1 Awaken Concealer. I mean, this is a good one to use. Um, I'm kind of between two shades. I think I might start off with 040 and then we'll see if I feel like it's too dark. I'll add just a little bit of brightness. Only thing I don't love about this concealer is the applicator, but everything else, I feel like this is such a great concealer, especially if you have dry under eyes. It is about, I would say, a buildable medium coverage concealer. And I'm just gonna work this in with my fingers. Now, I know this is looking a little darker than my skin tone, but my face, I don't have any sunless tanner on, and my body, I do. So I'm gonna be using a slightly darker powder just to kind of bring everything together. But do you see what a difference? Oh my goodness, such a great concealer. All right, and now for powder. Now, I have been kind of rotating between several different powder foundations. I've pulled out my original Bare Minerals foundation, I've also been testing out a little bit of the Laura Geller Double Take Foundation. Today, I'm gonna to use the Bear Pro Powder Foundation. You know, I love the liquid version, but I am kind of between two shades. So I'm gonna do, I think, mostly light warm 25. And I'm using the BK Beauty 105 brush. Now this, talk about quick, oh my goodness. I'm just patting this on my face. And because I'm oily, I feel like a powder foundation allows me to skip that extra step of adding extra powder all over my face. And this foundation is very buildable. So you could go on really full coverage in certain areas if you need to. Um, other areas, if you wanna go lighter, you could use a less dense brush. But do you see how quick I mean, wow, right? And then I'm gonna go over my nose, just a little extra. So for me, the key of a lighter makeup look overall is if I have a really good flawless looking base that doesn't look cakey, that doesn't look like I'm wearing tons of makeup. I mean, look at that, isn't that amazing? Then I feel like everything else can be lighter and it looks nice and fresh and yet it stays kind of true, the colors stay true all day. All right, this next product I know is not available. Don't be upset, but I'm gonna show you a shortcut if you don't have this, but this is the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Bronzer, and I love this. This is just what I've been using, so I'm gonna show you a different alternative, but this is a combination of blush, highlighter, bronzer, all in one. So if you don't have this, you could, from that LA Girl shadow palette, you could just dip your brush in the pink, the bronze, and maybe even a little bit of one of the glowy shadows. You can also just dip your brush in your bronzer and blush all at the same time. Isn't that just beautiful? And this does the job of kind of contouring, giving me color, but it's all in one product and one step. And then I'll just kind of brush on the side of the nose. It gives the face just color and light, but it's concentrated in the areas where I want it. Okay, now under the eyes, I'm just going to, now that that concealer has had time to set, just going to press out any creases. And then I am going to use just a touch of powder. This is a brand new powder from Sigma. They were so gracious to send me all four shades and I'm still testing them out, but this is the vanilla shade and it's a hydrating powder, but it has amazing blurring effects. And I have been actually quite impressed with this under the eyes. See, it's like magic, right? And then I'll just put a little bit of that here in the center. Okay, now for brows. 
Another brand new product that I've been testing out is from Benefit and it is their volumizing pencil. And I have the shade 3.5. This is, it's so weird. It says it's a powder fiber pencil. So it's a wood pencil that you sharpen, but it really makes filling in the brows super quick and gives a real natural look to the brows. So I do dye my brow hairs. So I have freshly done that, which really makes this process even easier. But I'm just adding a little bit there. And then what I've learned with a no makeup makeup look is I pretty much just let my brows be their natural shape here towards the front. Normally I like to bring my brows in further and I've learned that if I'm doing a more natural look, they just look better if they're not quite so carved out. And I think that's why this pencil is also perfect for these kinds of looks because it really keeps everything nice and soft. And you can get kind of precise, but you're not gonna get like hair-like strokes with this. So if you're somebody who likes real super thin, you know, hair like strokes through your brows. I don't think this is for you, but if you kind of like the look of a powder, this is a good one. So we're just gonna kind of fill in a few of the sparse areas. And then here at the front, just really lightly add a little extra color here. And then it does have the spoolie on the other end. So you can kind of just brush through the brows. This is supposed to be long wearing, transfer proof, and waterproof. So I've been testing this out at the pool, the pool days, and so far so good. All right, the last two steps are lips and lashes. And I'm going to curl the lashes. That step alone does wonders. <laughs> All right, and the mascara I chose, if I had an open Thrive Cosmetics liquid lash extensions, I would probably choose that one, but I don't. I have the Maybelline Snap Mascara, but this also is a tubing mascara. This one is the waterproof version. I haven't tried the regular one, but the waterproof version. But what I like about this is you can give your lashes just a little bit of a boost at the roots, kind of at the base, and then I can just kind of gently brush through. So for this look, I'm going for that more no makeup makeup look with my lashes as well. So I don't want my lashes to look really thick. I just want a little bit of definition. And then I am going to apply a little bit on the lower lashes. Again, not too much, but I do want a little definition down here. Now for lips, I have been going back and forth on what to do for this. And typically I will actually put something on my lips through the day, usually a gloss or something. I am just for the sake of a little definition, I'm going to use a little bit of a lip liner because I feel like this gives a little longevity to any color I put on after it. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. You can see that just is kind of like my lips, but better color. And because I have a kind of uneven lip line, that's why I feel like a lip liner just kind of helps define the lips a little better without being dramatic. And then for my gloss of choice, I think I'm gonna use this Kiko Milano 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in 17. This is such a pretty color, comfortable formula, and it does have a little bit of shimmer. All right, so there is the makeup done. And I feel like the skin, I mean, feels lightweight and it looks evened out and perfected. My eyes, I mean, I feel like I, you know, look like I did a little something, right? Okay, now we need to just do something to our hair. Okay, so literally, you're, you guys are gonna laugh. You're like, really, this is a tutorial? So this is all I do.
And then I just, because of the products that I use on a normal basis, they're the Enjoy Dry Wax. I don't even usually have to pull out my hair dryer. You can just still feel that product a little bit in the hair and you can just reshape the hair in place. And there we go. Okay, now I do actually need to take a look at the back, so I'll be right back. All right, so it doesn't look too bad, does it? <laughs> now, the one final step, if I were actually going out and about, I might add just a little bit of a pomade, so either a little more Enjoy Dry Wax, or I sometimes like to just use the bed head because it's real lightweight, and I just add a tiny little touch on my fingers just to help kind of hold this little bit of definition and kind of hold my bangs over in place. Because as the day goes on, if I don't have any kind of product here in the front, you know, they'll kind of blow every which way, which isn't a bad thing. Again, if I'm staying home, I won't add any extra product, but I'll just kind of touch that through the hair. I mean, literally that's all. And then I might go in with a lightweight mist of the Bedhead Masterpiece Finishing Spray. I'll get this all over everything. So just a light mist here. We are done. All right, let's pop in some earrings. We're really making this a very informal video here. But you know, this is kind of real life, right? And then because I actually did not put in my contacts today, pop on my glasses and now here is our finished look and by adding just that little bit of definition around the eyes you can see that you can actually see my eyes with my glasses on so here is the finished look the hair I mean can we get any easier than that and I feel like I am ready. If I needed to run out, I could. If I'm staying home, I don't feel overdone. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will list in the description box below all of the brushes and tools and products that I used in today's video. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.